talk about To Kill a Mockingbird, the book that you should have read already. And we're going to start off with learning about Harper Lee. Harper Lee was, um, she attended the University of Alabama Law School for one semester, and she was the editor of their school newspaper called the Rammer Jam. She subsequently dropped out to pursue her dreams of writing and moved to New York. So this right here is what you can see, but this building right here is the law school there. Okay. And let's see, Monroeville, Alabama. There's not much to it, but this is where Harper Lee was born. She was born April 28, 1926, to Amasa Coleman Lee and Francis Cunningham Finch Lee, which is where she derived one of her names for her characters. Um, she grew up in the in this town until she decided to move to New York. Um, so we're going to go over the main conflict. The main conflict was uh, man versus man, um, usually due to a feud or disagreements with principals and actual physical confrontation. This is expressed and enacted in various ways. This type of conflict is expressed in certain situations in the novel. Um, one of the big conflicts was between Bob Yule, which was a uh, male's father in Tom Robinson. Um, the conflict between the Yules and Tom was not necessarily direct hatred, um, but a significant conflict. Um, he had his daughter, Mayella, accuse Tom of raping her. In truth, it was Bob who had raped and beat her. Um, so he created the conflict so he can get away with the crime. Um, and another conflict in the story was the Yules versus Atticus Finch. During the trial, Atticus was the lawyer for Tom. He proved through various examples and forms of evidence that Bob was guilty and not that Tom was. Um, com this completely but silently destroys any type of credibility that Bob possessed, which was very little in the first place. He now resented Atticus and sought revenge on him. He took the matter into his own hands again and attacked the things that Atticus held most dear, which were his children. After a Halloween ball, Jim and Scout were walking home, and Bob wow. followed them and attacked them with a knife. Um, and subsequently, we were on Lee Okay, so this is the courthouse um, in Monroeville, Alabama, where they had did the they got the idea for the set um, for the trial, um, and it is a real place. Uh, they use it as a museum now. This was taken from the movie version, which you've already watched. And this is the actual real life um, courthouse that you can go visit. And this is just the overview of New York City, which is where um, another character, one of Scout's friends, um, Dill, tells all his adventures um, to Scout about. This is where he liked to go. And this is where Harper Lee um, also went to start her writing. Um, this is just um, a simple map of the fictional town of Maycomb, and you can see where everybody lived and how the kids always had to walk past the Radley House um, and the courthouse and the jail. Um, we're just going to go over a couple of the main characters here. Um, Scout is the main protagonist of the story. Um, it takes place um, while she's growing up. She's only six years old and she's the daughter of Atticus Finch. Um, Jeremy Finch, which they call Jim in the book, um, he's 10 when the story begins and 13 when it ends. And he's extremely um, mature for his age and he's very emotional. Um, Atticus is um, kind of the main character. He's the town's lawyer. Um, he's not wealthy, but he is well off and he's kind to everybody and um, he has a good sense of self. He knows who he is. Um, how he expects other people to be. Um, Boo Bradley is the recluse who lives close to the Finch home. He is a subject of various rumors that he's a ghost or a murderer, um, and he's really not. He's just kept himself. Um, and Tom Robinson, he's the, um, he was accused of rape by Mayel at Yule, um, mainly because he was a black man, and back then they had a real problem with that. Um, and he, all he did was work around town doing labor. He was hired by Mayella to do chores for her. Um, he is a strong and hard worker, and even though his left arm is shriveled and useless. He is innocent of the crime, because, um, but because he is 
why he's considered guilty by the townspeople. Um, and a couple um, secondary characters we have is Bob Ewell, who's, um, he accused Tom Robinson of the rape. Um, Dill is Jim and Scott's friends who always has these crazy adventures. And Walter Cunningham is another classmate of Scouts who is very poor, but he's very, very nice. And um, a couple additional characters that have a small role. Um, what are the lessons, morals, or applications um, that pertain to the story is don't attack something if it hasn't harmed you. The lesson is taught to Jim and Scout by Atticus when he teaches them about the mockingbird. He says the mockingbird is innocent and only sings for you. It is therefore wrong to kill it. The examples of the mockingbird within the novel, novel are Tom and Boo. Tom was attacked by the entire white society of Macon County. These attacks and accusations destroyed his innocent, respectable life. Arthur um, Boo Bradley was also an innocent victim to the taunts and of the people of the, of the county. Because of their aversion to his life, they separated him from any chance of